What are some ways to think about addition? Think about this question during the lesson. How many groups are there? There are two groups. How many hats are in the first group? There are seven hats in the first group. How many hats are in the second group? There are five hats in the second group. You can use addition to join groups. What word is used to describe the numbers being added together? The numbers being added together are called add-ends. What is the name for the answer when adding? The sum is the answer when adding. Let's identify some properties of addition. Study this number sentence. What do you notice about the numbers in these number sentences? Why in particular can you use this symbol when you have two different number models? What is different about the add-ends on either side of the equal sign? The order of the add-ends changed. Notice it was 7 plus 5, and now it's 5 plus 7. Do you think that makes a difference? What are the sums? The sum of 7 plus 5 is 12. The sum of 5 plus 7 is 12. What can you say about the order of add-ends? You can add numbers in any order and the sum will be the same. This is the commutative order property of addition. So the big thing here is that it doesn't matter if you start by taking your 5 and then put 7 more on, or if you start with your 7 and then put 5 more on. Either which way, you still have the same number of hats here. There's still 12 hats. So your commutative order of property is when it doesn't matter whether you add the first number and then the second one or the second and the first. It's going to give you the same total number or the same sum.